you guys so today we are going to get a special look at the four spirits of anakin skywalker yoda and obi-wan kenobi so very very cool stuff guys we are going to get a look at this very cool set uh this set comes in about roughly about 74 something dollars 80 something dollars with tax uh for us in here in california so uh again a very cool set uh, then, of course, you have for the box, you have your uh, depiction of your three figures in a very cool setting. I really love that uh, setting that they set this up with. Really nicely sold this pack. Um, I, I've even seen people online asking, where can you get this uh, fence? Because uh, you re they really wanted to have this diorama. Um, unfortunately, it does not come with that fence. Uh, I think that would have been a very nice part of this set if it did come with the fence, but unfortunately it does not. Uh, but of course you do get your very new Anakin Skywalker, uh, and then your Yoda and your Obi-Wan Kenobi. We received the Force Ghost Yoda and Force Ghost Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, in the line, uh, but I did notice some differences between uh, specifically the Yoda Force Ghost and the regular release that we received. Uh, the Obi-Wan looks fairly similar uh, between the two that I have, uh, but perhaps throughout this video we may discover some differences. So uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, with the box. So getting you a look at the box, you have your Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo, uh, Four Spirits, Anakin, Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, and then again, you have your characters listed there, your Kenner logo. And then of course you have the banner that wraps all around uh, the uh, borders of the box with your figures pictured in the window, which is really cool. Uh, and then of course, at the top, you have your 40th Return of the Jedi banner there uh, with Darth Vader. Uh, and then on the other side, you have your warning label. So uh, really cool front side of the box. And then for the back side of your box, uh, again, you have your Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo. And then you have the actual cinematic view of your Anakin, Yoda, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, and then of course, on the top of the banner as well, you have your Star Wars, the Black Series logo, Hasbro, and all of your other readables at the bottom there. So some really cool stuff at the bottom. Just underneath that cinematic photo uh, of the uh, one of the last scenes in Return of the Jedi, uh, you have a very small blurb which reads, commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi with figures from the Black Series featuring classic design and packaging. So a really cool blurb for the bottom uh, of the uh, picture there. And then of course you have that same blurb in different languages as well. For the side of the box, you have your Return of the Jedi, your Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi-Wan, Four Spirits with all of your characters listed there. And then for the other side of the box, same thing, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, and then you have your figures there, same information. And of course, at the very top of the box, uh, you see the various figures that come in the 40th anniversary six inch black series line so that is really really nice stuff for the packaging for your box all right you guys so we're gonna go ahead and pull these guys out of the box however uh, i am not going to open up the yoda or the obi-1 uh, simply because we've already had those figures in the line and i really would like to keep these guys on the card back However, I am going to open up the Anakin Skywalker because he is a brand new figure and I will probably get the regular release when it comes out as well. We are so going to get a look specifically at the Anakin Skywalker and then what we'll do is pull out the original release of the Yoda figure and Obi-Wan figure and put these guys in a really cool diorama, guys. So please do stay tuned. All right, you guys. So we pulled our 
figures out of the box with their card backs and they are really cool and they are unpunched card backs which is really really nice and of course you have your Anakin Skywalker there which is obviously the newest figure of the three uh, with the very cool Force Ghost image from the special editions your figure very very nice Star Wars the Jedi Return of the Jedi logo Anakin Skywalker uh, your 40th anniversary banner at the top. And then again, you have your Yoda here. And the same thing, warning label at the top. Ghost Force image from the film. And then I uh, took the liberty of pulling out the last Jedi Force Ghost of Yoda. And I wanted to compare it here with the Return of the Jedi Yoda. And as you can see, there's some differences that we'll go over in a bit. And then, of course, you have your Obi-Wan Kenobi Force Ghost as well. So I wanted to focus on the Force Ghost Yoda. Uh, obviously, these are two totally different Force Ghosts. That it didn't even occur to me until I pulled them out of the box that they were going to be any different from e each other. To my surprise, because I totally forgot about it, I, I haven't pulled the figure out since I reviewed it, um, this... Force Ghost Yoda has a bluish face and the cane is a purplish color and the uh, belt, uh, he has his uh, belt as well uh, that goes around his tunic. Uh, so uh, there are some differences between uh, these two because your uh, Force Ghost Yoda for Return of the Jedi obviously has a shiny green uh, color for uh, his head. Uh, he does still have the uh, little necklace piece. They both carry it. But uh, again, for your last Jedi Yoda, his is a brown color. And then for your Return of the Jedi Yoda, uh, his is more of a bluish uh, color. So again, you're uh, getting some uh, really cool differences between these two figures. They are basically the same figure, but uh, you're, did, you're getting some different color figurations uh, on this particular character. So that is really, really cool. And I'm, I'm also noticing that underneath the tunic for your Return of the Jedi version of uh, Yoda, uh, his skin color seems to be a translucent blue uh, as opposed to the green uh, that we see uh, on his head. Uh, so that's interesting uh, that they chose to go with that uh, translucent blue uh, color uh, that, you know, you have a very light translucent blue uh, for your Last Jedi Force Ghost Yoda, uh, but it definitely has more of a clear uh, appearance than it does the blue, where uh, for this one, if you get a close look at it, and I know it's kind of hard to see it in the package, but um, you can definitely see that the skin is uh, of a translucent blue uh, for your Return of the Jedi Force Ghost Yoda. So uh, some really cool differences uh, between the two different versions that we received in the Black Series line. And then for your Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, they seem to be uh, the same exact figure. I don't see too many differences other than uh, the tunic underneath your Obi-Wan Kenobi for Return of the Jedi. Uh, seems to be more of a bluish uh, color. Uh, you always get some uh, different color variations when you get a, a re-release of a figure. Uh, sometimes they, I guess they don't match this, the exact paint right. Um, I, I think everything that with your Force Ghost Yoda uh, was done intentionally uh, in, in regards to the color scheme. Uh, but, you know, for your Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think they wanted to uh, produce the same exact figure that we've already received in the line. As I had mentioned, sometimes with certain parts of the figure, you're going to get just a slight difference in a color variation, uh, just as you see here uh, with the tunic. I know it, it might be a little hard to see with the camera, but uh, this tunic underneath, and it's underneath the beige, uh, beige's color uh, tunic, uh, but his is more of a uh, electric blue as opposed to... Uh, the previous release where the uh, tunic is uh, just a little bit more of a dull uh, bluish color. So uh, again, some very cool differences between your uh, release of uh, similar figures. So one of the other figures that we're going to get a look at in this review is going to be our Paplu Ewok figure. 
Uh, I actually went out and picked this guy up this morning because I knew I wanted to do this diorama and I actually thought I already had him in my collection. However, uh, to my surprise, I only had Tebow uh, in my collection as far as Ewoks go. Uh, so I definitely didn't want to just have one standalone Ewok. Uh, so uh, I was able to go out and find uh, Pop Lou uh, at my local Walmart right down the street. Uh, they actually had the full wave of the 40th anniversary figures, uh, but I only picked up Pop Lou. Uh, I picked up uh, a couple of the 40th anniversary uh, figures, just the ones that I really, really like the most. Uh, I haven't gone and just picked up the full wave uh, of figures. I still need the uh, Chewbacca, the Stormtrooper, um, Bib Fortuna. Uh, I have not picked up. And then, of course, you have the Emperor as well. Uh, I just have not uh, picked up those particular figures uh, in the 40th anniversary for the Return of the Jedi uh, line of figures. Uh, but if I ever uh, get an opportunity, I will pick those uh, guys up uh, at my leisure. Uh, I just, you know, at this particular time, with the increased cost of figures, uh, I just have to be uh, a little more selective uh, with my collecting uh, as it goes. But if I can ever get an opportunity to uh, pick up the full wave, uh, I most definitely will do so. So for the card back for your Pop Lou, uh, again, you have a very cool image of the character from the film, Return of the Jedi logo, uh, Pop Lou, Kenner logo, very, very nice stuff for your card back. And then for the back side uh, of your card backs here, uh, you have again, uh, your figures that are available in the line, your Star Wars banner that goes around uh, those images, and then your Star Wars Black Series logo at the top there, uh, all of your readables, and warning information. So a very cool look at the back of the box there, guys. All right, you guys, so now we're going to pull our figures off of the bubble and get a look at each one of these figures, the articulation and all of the details and accessories. And then of course, we're gonna get a very cool diorama uh, depicting the ending scene of Return of the Jedi uh, with the celebration of the uh, defeat of the Empire and the appearances of our Force Ghosts uh, in the Ewok Village, guys. So please do stay tuned uh, for that dialogue. All right, you guys. So we painfully have our Anakin Skywalker and our Pop Lou uh, out of their perspective bubbles. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's the first time I've uh, removed an unpunched uh, figure from uh, its packaging. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but um, I just really... Uh, want to get a look at this figure. So hey, re re collecting is about doing what you want to do. So uh, that is exactly what I wanted to do. So it's done. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to try not to uh, let it bother me uh, so much. But um, getting you a look at your Anakin Skywalker uh, figure and as well your Pop Lou. Uh, very cool figures. And incidentally, I wanted to bring to your attention that the uh, two figures that you see here with your uh, Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, those are uh, the previous release. Uh, the Yoda is the last Jedi Yoda and not the Return of the Jedi Yoda. Totally different figure, not even the same figure. Uh, and then um, your Obi-Wan Kenobi is the previous release that we uh, believed in this, uh, uh, that we received in the single release uh, in the special blue uh, boxing, which was really, really cool. And as you saw, uh, the card backs also uh, have that same blue uh, background uh, in the card back. So that's really nice touch to uh, coordinate those boxes uh, accordingly. So um, since I did not want to open uh, my Yoda or OV-1, uh, I just left those uh, in their uh, bubbles and I'm going to put them back in their packaging. And then, of course, Anakin uh, is going to be uh, who he is at this mo uh, moment. He is a, a free figure and uh, we'll uh, find some place on my shelf uh, somewhere, we'll see. Uh, or maybe he'll, he'll go back in the bubble, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, getting you a look at your Anakin Skywalker figure, uh, really, really nice head sculpt. And uh, guys, let's get you guys a closer look at this Anakin Skywalker figure. So getting you a look at your Anakin Skywalker Force Ghost from Return of the Jedi in the special 40th anniversary for the Return of the Jedi 
packaging comes on an unpunched card and uh, he is a very nice figure i do like the face sculpt uh, i don't know how close it is to the to uh christian hadison's uh likeness but uh it is very very cool very very nice and very cool to have this figure especially if you uh, do like the special editions. Uh, I do. I'm okay with the special editions. Um, some of the stuff is cool. Some of the stuff is uh, okay uh, that uh, Lucas decided to add. Um, Anakin Skywalker at the end. I grew up with the original ending with Sebastian Shaw. And um, I've always felt that that actor should get his due. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a figure, Force Ghost, Anakin, Sebastian Shaw figure uh, to properly depict the original films uh, as uh, George, well, I don't know if he intended it to be that way because he changed it to have this version of Anakin, but uh, that is the way it was originally shot. That is the way I originally saw it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I have an appreciation for both versions uh, of the uh, original trilogy. So, a uh, very, very cool figure with your Anakin translucent skin. Uh, very similar to Obi-Wan Kenobi. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not the same body sculpt. Uh, just a little bit of a difference in the color of the tunic. And, of course, your head sculpt uh, would be the most uh, biggest difference between those two figures. So, very, very cool. Very, very nice. And he uh, also comes with the translucent robe. Per Obi Wan Kenobi over there, so that, that is his only accessory. And then of course here we have Pop Lou, and uh, really cool. Very excited to have this guy in my collection. As I mentioned earlier, I just picked him up this morning specifically for this diorama. Uh, I just did not want Tivo to be uh, the only Ewok in this diorama, so I uh, ran out. Was very lucky to find this guy uh, at my local Walmart right down the street and uh, pulled him out. Cost me about 30 bucks. Well, uh, maybe about 28 bucks. And uh, a very cool, very, very nice figure. Very glad to have him. Can't wait to get Wicked. Um, and I'm sure Wicked is on his way. I'm getting you a look at the back. Of course, he comes with the little hood and his uh, lone accessory would be his weapon there. But he's a very, very awesome figure. Very, very cool. All right, you guys. So I thought I would forego the articulation portion uh, for both of these figures. Uh, since for your Anakin figure, he's basically the same as your Obi-Wan Kenobi, which uh, I reviewed uh, well, maybe well over a year ago, uh, maybe almost two years ago, if I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, received this uh, that figure as soon as it came out. And then uh, for uh, Pop Lou, uh, again, um, I thought I would forego the articulation. You guys seen these figures, you know what they're about, you know what their articulation, what their articulation is. Uh, I thought we'd just go ahead and hop right into our diorama. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this diorama going, guys. So please do stay tuned. guys so there you have your return of the jedi 40th anniversary three pack force ghost three pack with your anakin skywalker yoda and obi-wan kenobi and then of course you also have your palploon ewok that i picked up 
earlier today just for this diorama and then of course the rest of the figures to fill out the the diorama so really really cool stuff i do enjoy these figures and i'm very glad that i picked up this set uh, i have some mixed feelings about opening up the anakin figure but it is what it is nonetheless and i am happy that i opened it because i love to do dioramas and this was uh, a lot of fun to do guys so let me know have you picked up this particular set for the 40th anniversary of return of the jedi guys and what do you think of the anakin figure do you like the head scope? And of course, there are some differences with your Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, Force Ghost figures as well. So let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.